we have the insight that your organization needs to jump onto the digital transformation journey and you are struggling to make it happen. My client realized that they were really struggling with that. That is creating a common sense of direction and create that necessary engagement throughout the organization. And that is to have a joint common direction between the board, the CEO, the C-level and the entire organization. To have one common message into where we're going and why. I'm Christian Delores. I am the CEO and founder of Percentage Change Management. We help boards and uh, CEOs to bridge the gap between strategy and execution. Uh, in the next four videos, I am going to show you with this uh, life story how we managed to go all the way from creating that common sense of direction to creating necessary engagement. So what are the four steps uh, to manage this? First, it is to dissipate the fog. Secondly, it is to bridge the gap. And thirdly, it's about less is more. It's about prioritizing, balancing, uh, running and changing the business. And fourth, it's about integrating change management to people's side, which is mostly forgotten, to make it happen. So I am curious to understand what is your challenge in making it happen to create a common sense of direction. I was showing you my client's issue that is to create a common sense of direction and the necessary engagement for the upcoming digital transformation journey and to do what that is to transform the culture. It's all about dissipating the fog. So let me show you how we did it. Uh, with the board, the C-level, and um, me as the moderator, we had the co-creation process to create a strategic alignment framework uh, as a one-pager. So let me show you now how we did this in reality. And what we did, we started off uh, looking at the existing vision. Uh, we revisited the mission and the core values. And then we came to a grinding halt because we realized what? It is better to have a change age networks already onboarded now. So it was defined and we inv invited the ambassadors to come together with us, finish that strategic alignment framework to define the strategy, the strategic objectives and the annual goals. So now I am really interested and curious about to find out what are your situation and experiences in integrating the human side of change into your transformation journey. In this video, we are going to look at how we actually created that bridge to go from strategy to execution, to bridge the gap. So if you create new processes, design them, and uh, you look at how the new organization should look like, it's not going to happen unless individuals, the teams and the entire organization have knowledge and demonstrated ability in the uh, new behaviors, change ways of working and new IT tools. So in reality, how is this done? The goal here coming from that strategic alignment framework that is culture transformation is concretized in the benefit increased success probability and change readiness. That benefit requires the change implemented new target organization, which is generated by defining that new target organization and the enabler is in this case to have a completed competence inventory. So we did this in a couple of workshops, we completed the entire page that benefits the dependency map. And once it was done, they went, oh no, why oh no? Because we don't have the necessary capability and capacity because we are completely busy and either completely choked with business as usual. So now my question is, what is your experience in balancing, running and change the business? In this video, 
we will see how my client succeeded in balancing running the business with changing the business. So how was this done? Starting in the last step by looking at the benefits of the pencil map or the change journey also called in the step where we bridge the gap between strategy and execution, we started to look at what are the critical success factors to succeed. So we prioritized the critical success factors with a ranking of these and the three top ones they became the, big, the three big rocks that we actually decided to select and to work with in, over the next 90 days. The next step was then to define activities, high level ones, and to look at uh, what were we going to achieve in these 90 days. Now, why 90 days? Because this is a good way in becoming agile in your organization and it works very well to work in 90 days increments, then selecting three new big rocks. The issue now is, well, they were already at 100% capacity. So it's about prioritizing and less is more by prioritizing away ongoing initiatives because you need to have spare capacity. In this video, I will reveal the outcome of my client's transformation journey so far. So how did it go until now? We have actually now a change ready organization with high awareness and high desire, ready to start the full transformation journey. How did we achieve this? We dissipated the fog firstly by creating a common sense of direction between the board, the management and the entire organization. And by creating this strategic alignment framework, the second part was that we managed to bridge the gap between strategy and execution. Thirdly, we prioritized and selected the three big rocks to be worked on over the next 90 days. And lastly, very important, we integrated change management to make this transformation work. So the key success factors are firstly to integrate change management right from the outset by creating a change agent network. If you start too late with change management or forget all about it, what will happen is that you will face high resistance and slow adaption rates and ultimately missing objectives and not achieving desired ROI. The second is to create engagement by raising awareness and desire. And the third and last key success factor is to define the change management strategy. So if you are facing a challenge to start your digital transformation journey or are struggling in the middle somewhere of it to get momentum for it to continue, let's talk about it. Thanks for watching.